to say that the redeemed of the Lord. Thank you. If if you can't say anything, just wave your hand. Yeah. Thank you. Thankful to God. Thank you, Lord. Yet another day. Yes, sir. Amen. If by chance some wind came through, <laughs> blew that the words that we had on the marquee outside. You know, we had it up there in stencil, and mm -hmm. you know, sometimes the wind gets rough and it <laughs> changes the way the letters are. Mm -hmm. But it's permanently fixed now. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes, oh yes. And it still reads the same. Yes. All right. At the olive. Yes. Yes, sir. All yes. The olive. Yes. All right. yes. Nothing wrong with praising the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Now, if 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 you got problem with that, and uh, 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 you got problem. <laughs> Amen. 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 Like uh, uh, the preacher says that it's a noisy church. <laughs> all right. That's all right. If you want to be sedated and all of that Ooh. stuff, then you go somewhere else. All right. Amen. Amen. We like to make some noise. That's Amen. all right. Let the Lord know that we are mighty grateful yes. for all that He has done That's right. for us. Amen. 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 I, I, I got it in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Somebody sang a song. We're going to have a good time. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. All praises be unto him. And our Heavenly Father, yes, the Son, and the precious Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. To the officers and all the saints of God. To those out in Facebook and YouTube. Whatever else, we greet you <laughs> in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We give Rick your special shout out. Amen. 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 Co pilot, yours is coming. <laughs> Amen. Turn with this, you will, to Paul's first letter to the church at Corinth, 1 Corinthians, chapter 3. And let me read verses 10 through 15. Amen. Amen. We might get you out of here by 12. That's all right. Might. All right, they can. That's a big might, too. Amen. That's all right. First Corinthians chapter 3, beginning at verse 10. Paul writes, and he says, According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation. Right. Another buildeth thereon. Right. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Right. For other foundation can no man lay that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Right. And if a man Builds upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, stubble. Every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. The fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man work abide, which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. All right. If any man's work shall be burned, then he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved. All right. Yet so as by fire. We'll talk 
talk a bit more about the reward of faithfulness. Amen. Amen. The rewards of faithfulness. All right. And how permanent are your works? Verse 14 says, If any man works which he has built on, it endures, he shall receive a reward. That's from the King James. The man that life works was over. Mm -hmm. He had been pumped, primed, made up, and laid out for all folks to walk by and see. Didn't he look like himself? He looked so calm and peaceful. As they passed by, they all looked and uh, made comments. One lady came by and as she paid her last respects. Obviously had some emotional attachment. She dabbed her eyes and said with great emotions, Dear Harry, and gone on to the just reward. Mm -hmm. Now, if she had meant that as a compliment, she was wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you say that? Because heaven is not a place for just rewards. Mm -hmm. And all of us <coughs> ought to know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know about you, but I'm not seeking a just reward. Uh, uh, because <clears throat> if you're anything like me, you don't deserve nothing. Oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. For we don't deserve anything. We're so messed up. All right. And it's only because of God's grace and his mercy yeah. that we get anything. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. We ought to realize that. So rather than seeking a just reward, we ought to be seeking God's divine grace. Amen. Amen. You know what grace is. God's giving me something that I don't deserve. Amen. 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 Thankful for his mercy because he withholds that that I do deserve. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, 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 so heaven is not earned by anyone. Hell is what you earn. <laughs> Isn't that right? Amen. But the Bible says that the wages, and, and, and wages are something that you earn, right? right. The wages of sin is what? Yeah. But the gift of God is yeah. eternal life. Now, two things that I know. I know. You might not have gotten to that point yet, but there are two things that I know. Because I'm working on it every day, I'm going to heaven. Well, I'm going to heaven. Yes, sir. I deserve to go to hell. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to hell. And it's not because of any great thing that I've done. It's because the faith I have in the atoning death of Jesus Christ. Now, now, however you want to put that, however you want to look at it for yourself, I know I'm going to heaven because that's the gift that God gives me. Isn't that right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Not that I earned it, but it's the gift that God has given me. And I can bank on going there because of the faithfulness 
and the reward that God gives me for being faithful. Amen. Amen. Three points and then I'm going to be out the way. Amen. Okay. Maybe 12, 20 if I get five minutes for each point. <laughs> There's a question, an important question, uh, that all of us need to answer. And I'm going to give you the answer because whether you know it or not, there are two classes of Christians. Yeah. I, I'm not talking about uh, the one that claimed to be and the one that's not. No, I'm talking about that two classes of Christians. And if you are a child of God, you fall into one of those two categories. <coughs> in, in, in this text, Paul distinguished between the two groups. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. There are those that build on a firm foundation things that will stand. Mm -hmm. It's right here in the text. Okay. Paul says, now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, stone, we all build on the foundation of Jesus Christ. If you've been saved, that's what you do. Amen. Amen. God didn't save you for you to sit down and watch other folk work. He saved you because you will work. Mm -hmm. The question is the kind of work and the steadfastness and the firmness of your work. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of us, we, we uh, 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 just want to go along. All right. uh, uh, if you don't tell me, you don't ask me, if you don't push me, I'm not going to do it. All right. All right. Amen. But when that's done, you do. So that's the work. Mm -hmm. Others are in the forefront, not waiting to be asked or to push or to share in doing something. They are willing workers, right. always striving and laboring for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Now, 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 before some of you uh, 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 get confused, start to get concerned, I'm going to jump down to this last passage of scripture in my text. Uh, uh, the Bible didn't say that you were going to hell. Mm -hmm. It didn't say that. Oh. Okay. It says that if any man work shall be burned, and when you build on what? Wood, hay, and stubble. All right. Your works Right. You'll suffer a lot, but you still say. Right. Now, those two different classes of Christians, mm -hmm. I don't know what class you're in, mm -hmm. but I'm in the class where I'm going to build on that firm foundation, go silver, and precious stones. Oh, yeah. All right. Why? Because there's a reward <laughs> for faith. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I guess I need to share something with you. Right. Every Christian, every believer in Jesus Christ, is going to heaven. Mm -hmm. God saved you mm -hmm. and you are saved for all eternity. Yes. We all going to go to heaven. Wow. When we get there, mm -hmm. all right. mm -hmm. we all ain't going to be in the same neighborhood. We all ain't gonna have the same sin. Mm -hmm. It's like here on mm -hmm. earth. Some folks got nice homes. All right. Got nice things. And some don't. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
God gives rewards mm -hmm. in heaven. Mm -hmm. Don't be trying to get everything here. All right. All right. No. It, 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 if you're interested in trying to have your heaven here on earth, then you have it because when you get to heaven, you won't have it. You have a place to lay your head, but not much more. I want all the blessings that God will give me, all of the reward that is in heaven for me. Hmm. Bible teaches that there are four crimes that God would give as a reward in heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and if you don't work toward them, mm -hmm. then you don't get them. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's all right. It's going to be a 12 30. <laughs> You know God is in the blessing business. And not all the blessings are here on earth. He blesses us when we get to heaven also. By giving us rewards. Mm -hmm. He will give us a crown of glory if we have been faithful mm -hmm. to his call. Wow. That means that you just don't show up All right. and sit down. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of lazy Christians. Mm -hmm. Bible teaches us that God cannot lie. Mm -hmm. He's obligated. <laughs> what he says, he has to keep his word. John 3.16 says, that if you believe in Jesus and what he has done, then God will give you everlasting life. That's a promise. And he will give it to you in heaven. But if all you want to do is just live in heaven, then that's all you can. I hope you hear me. Amen. Some folks are satisfied. All right, we hear you. Just let me. That's all I want. Just let me. Yeah, I'm not in that crowd. <laughs> Those are the folks that build on wood, stubble, and hay. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 you let me in, so I'm satisfied. Well, mm -hmm. well. But I want everything. Everything that God will give me. Amen. Therefore, I'm in the other crowd. It's building on what? Gold, silver, and precious stuff. What are you trying to say, preacher? Why are you trying to push folks to? We're in the church. We come to whistle God. And, and, and I'm preaching to Christians here. And, and if they're non Christian, I'm getting to you in a little while. But we all ought to want God to bless us above measure. Not just here on earth, but in heaven also. So we'll be in position to be with those four and 20 elders that cast out from. At the feet. Yeah. And cry, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Which group are you in? <laughs> now the rewards are eternal. These rewards go on forever and ever and ever. Amazing how some people go through great pain made elaborate preparations for their retirement. Wow. And then they realized that it's not all that they thought it was going to be. Yeah. Folks retire. If they're retired, they're not punching the clock no more. <laughs> but they're not living the way they wanted to live. Well, mm -hmm. all right. hmm? 
You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I I thank God that that He He blessed me where I live with good in retirement as I did when I was working. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But I thank Him for that. Amen. 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 I, I I I told the children it's not about me what I I need now. If I want something. And Brother Taylor said something about that too. <laughs> if 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 I want it, I go get it. That's right. Amen. That's right. A whole lot of things when I was working did uh, uh, curve that I I wanted and I couldn't get. It. Right. Amen. But thank God. Amen. What are you saying, preacher? When you get to heaven, that 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 ought to be some things that you just got because you want it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about me. The rewards are forever and ever and ever. God will forever continue to bless me and give me everything Amen. that I need. Amen. Let me sit down at the table, the welcome table. Amen, amen. It, 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 you notice when you go to a wedding, amen. We all been to weddings and and, and the bride and groom, they got a special table and special folks can set at the table with them. And even though you're at the wedding and you're part of the wedding party, you sitting over in the corner. Well, Lord. Some of y'all are going to be sitting over in the corner. I thank God that I'm I'm working and 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 building on on my works with with silver and gold and precious stone. Yeah. So I'll be sitting at the welcome table because the rewards yeah. are eternal. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to worry about once I get there that that God what God has promised me somebody else gonna take from me. Yeah, no, no, right. no, they're mine. Mm -hmm. And I'll be able to. To, to rest in the rewards that God has given me because the work of my faithfulness yes. toward him. And then, and then, the key is faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Faithfulness. The world would be astonished at the faithfulness of some Christians. Mm -hmm. Yes, they would. Because they would be looking and it would be difficult to find. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Some people uh, uh, volunteer for everything. Mm -hmm. They put their heart in everything <coughs> for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And others, you got to push them, mm -hmm. prod them, and beg them. Sometimes you even have to bribe. <laughs> they give nothing sacrificially for the Lord. But those that are faithful, All right. they give of themselves, their time, their talent, their resources. <laughs> they always seem to be going that extra mile. All right, all right. Those are the folks that God rewards for their faithfulness. Those are the folks that have a great passion for the lost. Wow. Mm -hmm. Folks that, that, that don't think that Mount Olive is too good for some folks to come. Mm -hmm. they, they're willing to invite any and everybody mm -hmm. to come. That's the key to rewards in heaven is being faithful. Then Jesus said, be thou faithful over a few things. Yeah. And I'll make you ruler over many. So many folks. Uh, 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 they just will not be faithful. They have faith. But they're not faithful. They're not willing to give of their all unto Christ. Mm -hmm. but God is looking for those that are faithful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
songwriter says the Lord has need of workers to till his field today. So kindly he has led us to walk in wisdom way. Okay. Folks that are wise are willing to serve. Well, I pray for grace to help me with all my heart to say, oh, bless the Savior. Count on me. Yeah. Lord is looking for folks that's going to be faithful. Well, yeah. Faithful means that when he's looking for you, <laughs> you won't be hiding behind Amen. somebody. Well, yeah. that's right. Faithful means that when he's calling you, yeah. you're not laid, laboring him with a multitude of excuses. Well, well. Faithful means that when he needs somebody, yeah. You're glad to be like the prophet and say, Him I sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For he had need of work. Yeah. He willing to bless us and he's willing to reward us if we are willing to show our faithfulness. Yeah. Stories told that a missionary was returning on the same ship that uh, 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 Roosevelt was on. Well, well. And when the ship docked, mm -hmm. there was a whole lot of people there uh, welcoming Roosevelt. Well, well. But the missionary, there was nobody. Mm -hmm. And with a sorrow heart, mm -hmm. and with a loneliness in her mind, well, well. she began to feel let out. Mm -hmm. But the words came to her. Look at him, Roosevelt is returning home. Yeah. But you're not home yet. Come on, yeah. yeah, this is just a place you're stopping by. Yeah. But when you get home, yeah. then the celebrations will take place. Yeah. When you get home, man, we're talking about the heavenly home. Yeah, yeah then you'll be welcome with open arms. Well. Then you'll be able to say, I'm here and I'm home. And yeah. Thank God that I made it. Uh, and thank God that he has uh, provided a place for me. Yeah. For all of my friends and loved ones uh, will welcome me. You know what Hebrew says, there's a cloud watching you, yeah. standing up and looking at everything that you do. Uh, and guess what they're going to do when you get home? Uh, they're going to say, thank God to me. Yeah, they're going to shake your hand. Uh, let me tell you, I'm spending time in the Navy and making uh, cruises and you're gone for six months and for nine months. Uh, but oh, what a feeling it is. Uh, yeah. When that great ship would finally dock to the yeah. port and the gangplank would let out. Uh, yeah. And you're able to go into the arms of loving folks uh, yeah. that are waiting for you to come home. Yeah. Uh, well, when you get home, yeah. uh, don't you know that there'll be those waiting for you? Uh, there'll be those that have been watching you uh, all this time. Uh, somebody said, Mama's waiting on me. Uh, somebody said, Daddy is waiting on me. Uh, I got some children there that are already there, uh, but I want you to realize that if when you get there, uh, yeah, it'll be a glorious time. Uh, it will be a hallelujah time. Uh, not because mama is there, not because daddy is there, not because sister or brother is there, but it's because Jesus uh, is there. They always tell the story about St. Peter standing at the gate. I'm not looking for St. Peter. I'm looking for Jesus. Yeah, he'll be waiting for me. I heard the songwriter says one more river to cross. They said mama be there. Can't help me to cross. Daddy will be there. Can't help me to cross. Preacher, deacon, 
person uh, would be there can't help me to cross. But my Jesus, uh, yeah, he'll be there. He will uh, help me to cross. Uh, I'm on my way uh, to a seat now. Uh, but I got to tell you, you got to be faithful uh, to the Lord. Uh, I heard Jesus uh, when he said, be thou faithful, not unto uh, but until death, uh, be faithful unto it, uh, unto death, and God will uh, give you a crown of life. Uh, I heard uh, the songwriter said, uh, and it's good uh, for us to realize uh, that our works are going to be tried uh, by fire. Uh, listen what he says. Uh, you may build uh, great cathedrals, uh, large or small. Uh, you can build uh, skyscrapers, uh, grand and tall. Uh, you may conquer all the failures uh, of the past, but only, yeah. only, yeah. only yeah. what you do for Christ, uh, that's going to last. Uh, get your work to burn by fire. Uh, don't worry, you're going to get in, uh, but you won't have uh, what the other person uh, is going to have. They're going to have, uh, yeah, a home in glory, uh, just like you. Uh, but I don't want to live uh, down in the shady uh, parts of heaven. Uh, I don't want to be uh, on the other side uh, of the railroad track. Uh, I grew up that way, uh, but I want my home uh, on Hallelujah Boulevard. Uh, yeah, while the streets are uh, paved in gold. Uh, I want my home uh, to have some jasper and some silver with my home. Uh, I want my home uh, to be everything uh, that God promised me. Uh, so I'm going to live uh, a life uh, faithful uh, unto God uh, in all that I do. Uh, I want to prove uh, that I'm faithful uh, under God. You can shun uh, if you want to. You can be lazy if you want to. You can make folks proud uh, and beg you to serve the Lord, but I'm going to give the Lord all I have. Yeah. I'm going to serve you with all that I have. You ain't going to have to beg me. Give me an opportunity. I told you I preached on the street corner. I preach to one, two, or three because that what that's what he's called me to do. I don't need a lot of money. I just need a voice uh, to tell somebody that Jesus loves you. Uh, this I know. Uh, just a voice to tell them that, that he died uh, for you, that he went into the grave uh, for you, that he got up. So you can be saved. Amen. Faithfulness. Reward for faithfulness. God wants us to be faithful. It's required. It is required. Scripture says it is required of a steward to be faithful. Yes, Lord. We we take that and we preach urge your sermon. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you know what a steward is? Each one of us. Amen. Because God has given us all something to oversee. Something to take care of. And it's for some of us it's nothing more than our soul. But if you're faithful over taking care of yourself then God will reward you yeah. for your faithfulness. By the song you sang. Amen. Maybe there's one who don't know the Lord and pardon of their sin. Maybe they're not even here. Maybe they're someone in social media. I want you to know that God is looking at you right now. Amen. He knows your heart. Yes, sir. And if you have a desire to live for He'll save you right now. He'll put you on the pathway where you can build on the foundation that has been laid. No other foundation has been laid other than Christ Jesus. And if you build on him with gold, silver, and precious stone, 
then rewards in heaven are waiting for you. Amen. For he shall give you a crown of life. Well, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.